Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I get asked a lot of questions about lab equipment. Now, I have my general lab equipment video, which you can watch, which covers all sorts of lab equipment from beginners through to advanced equipment. This particular video, I'm going to be focusing on lab stirrers. This is the first stirrer I'm going to introduce you to. This is a Eurostar stirrer. I got this one through Ica. Uh, if you do have questions about any of this equipment, please contact Ica Direct to find your nearest representative or speak with Ica yourself. We don't actually sell these machines. I'm just giving you an unbiased opinion about different lab equipment as part of this video. So this particular stirrer here is really useful for low to medium shear stirring. And it's really important at this point to just let you know that shear doesn't have to do with speed necessarily. It actually has to do with the type of stirrer you use. The great thing about this piece of equipment is that you can change your stirrer very easily. So for example, we just insert it, tighten it, and there we go, we're ready to stir. Now, when it comes to low shear stirring, you have a paddle or anchor stirrers. These are great to disperse particles where you don't need to break them up. And in fact, where you wanna be particularly gentle in not breaking up your particles or other substances you're trying to mix homogeneously through your mixture. This one here is a propeller stirrer. It's also low shear. You use this wherever you need low shear in a formula. Uh, it's also good it won't break up your particles if you need to add them. And just a demonstration in water so you can see how it stirs. You can set it to stir very slowly. You can speed it up. This particular machine will go to 2000 RPM. So if you're just mixing miscible liquids together, so water with water soluble substances, this is around 600 RPM. This is plenty to mix when they're very liquid. I can take this up to 2000. But with a simple system, I don't need to go that fast. I'd also use a propeller stirrer when I'm using shear sensitive polymers, like processing carbamers, for example. And when you're using those shear sensitive polymers, you can use propellers very effectively, even in large manufacturing vats, so that you don't break your polymer, but still get effective emulsification. The next type of stirring head I want to show you is this dispersing head. Now this creates a medium shear. This is useful when you want to break up some platelets. It will shear a lot of your polymers, so it's no good with shear sensitive materials. Uh, it will break droplets into smaller droplet size for better emulsification. Don't use it with shear sensitive materials. Again, changing over your stirrer is very simple with this machine. And as you can see, it disperses in a different way to this simple propeller blade, even at 600 RPM. So at 2000 RPM, it will provide you quite effective emulsification at a medium shear. Again, don't use the dispersing head if you don't want to break uh, polymers or other materials up, you'd use the propeller blade for that. The next piece of equipment I want to introduce you to is the Ica Ultra Turex. Again, if you're interested in this equipment, please contact Ica Direct or your nearest Ica rep. So this is a different piece of equipment to the Eurostar. This one won't fit the uh, different types of propeller or disperser heads that I just showed you. It comes with its own high shear homogenizing tool. Now the way this works, you can see here this speeds around really fast internally and it breaks your droplets into very fine droplet size. Now this is important where you want really fine droplet size for your emulsions and of course the finer your droplet size, the more stable your emulsion will tend to be. 
You'd use high shear for all emulsions where possible or where you're not using materials that would be affected by high shear. So for example, if you're using polymers, you should only use low shear uh, unless the supplier specifies that it can tolerate medium or high shear. Otherwise, you'd make your emulsions using high shear, using a homogenizing head. Now I wouldn't normally need to use high shear homogenizing heads for just water, but I just wanted to show you in water so that you can see what is happening. This is at 3000 RPM. Again, when we're talking about low or high shear, it really depends on the head, the stirring equipment. Because I can stir at 2000 or 3000 RPM with a propeller, it's considered low shear. It's not gonna cut my particles or polymers the way that this particular head will. At 3000 RPM, even though it looks quite slow here, it is using high shear. So I will get a much smaller droplet size or I will break particles using this particular head. So it's all about the head, not necessarily the RPM that determines the shear. I'm gonna speed this up a little. And as you can see, I'm getting a lot of speed and shear through. This is just simple water, and you can see how much it's agitating that water. Now, whenever you're mixing, it's really important that you don't create too much of a vortex because a vortex will suck air into your product, and that air then takes time to come out of the product. If you're using a lot of gums or polymers, it may never completely come out at all, and that will impact batch to batch consistency. There's only a couple of cases where we actually want to introduce air and have a lot of polymers present to hold it in there, like your whipped creams and butter products. And we do that on purpose to get that whipped effect. Otherwise, trapping excess air in your formulas is not desirable. I've got a great little summary table for you here showing you the different types of mixing heads and the relative type of shear they create. Remember, when it comes to shear, it's the type of head that matters, not the RPM. I hope you've found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.